we're going to talk about how to create buttons now so that we can link our action to something that we do on our web page. So rather than having the colors in our colored points just be red and green, we're going to put some buttons here so that we can choose red or green. So here I've added two new lines of code, which are adding the buttons. These are HTML commands. We're not in JavaScript right now. We're in HTML. So here's the button. And we have an ID green that we're going to use to get to it later. And we have our label green. And we have a red button and a red button. So let's go ahead and see those things. So I'm going to reload our page. And now I got my buttons, green and red, here. But they don't do anything yet. The, the code is still all doing the same thing. We just have added some buttons. We're going to have to go hook this up to our code. So to connect these buttons, we're going to have to go over to our JavaScript and add some code there. OK, so here we've added it. I've added a function call for adding all the actions from the HTML UI. Here's my function for adding all of these actions. And what do I have? For each button, I'm going to go to my document, which is my HTML document, get the element by the ID. This green ID here is the same as this ID that was typed here. And whenever there's a click on this button, we're going to have a function. This is an anonymous function. And what this function is going to do is set this global variable, which I've indicated with the G, global variable of the selected color. Since this is green, we're going to be red, green, blue. Oh, this shouldn't be zero. These should be one on my alpha channel. So then we're going to be green set this to one so this is going to set and here I've set up a global variable we'll later move this to a more convenient location but I want it to be visible in the code right now so here's my global variable now this doesn't do anything yet I click on these buttons I clicked on red I'm still getting different colors because we haven't hooked it up to anything yet but now we have a function which is setting up how to deal with the button so now we need to hook up this variable to doing something in our code so what do we need to do? At the point where we're clicking in our code, we're storing the points, we're pushing the points onto the G points list, and we're pushing the colors onto the G color list. And what we right now have is this code for figuring out which quadrant we're in to put the color. We want to replace all this with code that's going to just put whatever is the current color that we've selected. So here it is right here. I've commented out the code that was here before for selecting the color, and now I'm just going to push onto my G colors list whatever was the selected color. So let's see what this does. We click and we're getting white points. Now why are we getting white points? Let's go back over here. When we defined, where did I define this? When I defined this, I defined my starting value for this to be white. One, one, one on red, green, blue is white. So we start out with white. And only is this value going to change when I actually click something. So let's go click green. Now when I click points, we would expect to see green points, which we do. And when we click red, we're supposed to be getting red points, uh, which we don't. We get yellow points, so why not? So let's go see. So our red button clearly has some kind of bug. So here's our red button. Red, green, blue. Ah, we're not supposed to have this one on green. Let's set that to zero. Reload our page. Now when we click red, okay, now we get red and green. So now we've got buttons which are hooked up to do various things for us.